We are the number one UK waste uh, management company. Um, predominantly there's two sides of the business. So we collect from uh, commercial businesses as well as uh, domestic households through our local authority contracts. Um, the other side is resource and energy which do the processing, recycling uh, and sorting of waste. So um, we cover both sides of the equation, we pick it up, we process it, we recycle it. So we are the end-to-end -end, uh, UK provider. We went through the process really as a response to uh, our legacy supplier. We weren't feeling that we had uh, the value. But quite quickly I think we came to realise that UK Fuels was probably one of the standout op opportunities to work with. Key to this was really about looking at a supplier who was going to go beyond a simple customer uh, buyer relationship. We wanted someone to really understand the criticality of the supply to our business and work as a partner for us in the long term. Ultimately, we rolled out, I think, nearly 3,000 cards over a very short timeline. You know, to do that, you know, not just in a very short timeline, but with all the other external restrictions around COVID and, and everything else we were trying to adapt to at the time, was hugely, you know, hugely positive and really important to the business. And I think that initial mobilisation, the way it was conducted and, and the engagement with Frontline to really understand, actually, is this going to work for you? what's the timing, how do we best do it at a sort of depot level was really powerful. And it was a critical factor, I think, if you didn't have the right network, regardless of all the other uh, positives, it would have been a, just a simple no. Ultimately, we needed that coverage across the UK. We operate from Cornwall right up to Scotland. Um, and it was a non-negotiable element. You know, we had to have the coverage, otherwise it, it simply wouldn't have worked. So hugely important. We had a really aggressive mobilisation plan uh, at the time in the middle of COVID, so we mobilised basically in June 20. Um, the detailed analysis that we did in partnership with UK Fuels really drove the success of that. The important part for me was UK Fuels listened to us to make sure that the plan fitted with the business. So this wasn't something that was done to the business, it was you know, really developed with the business, hand in hand, to say actually, this is the structure, this is the framework, but you need to tell us how it is going to work for you. Uh, and ultimately the long-term success of our relationship is hugely influenced by that initial engagement because if we get that wrong you lose the business and you lose the frontline managers and actually I think what we did really well is that detailed involvement getting them to own the process and feel really embedded in that and that was the most pleasing thing and obviously expediting the actual rollout in terms of the delivering of the cards making sure they were registered and the system was set up. That administration piece, you know, we can't underestimate how, how much work is involved in that. And again, that went really, really seamlessly. So, you know, both in terms of engagement and actually the admin side of it, very, very well done. The real strength in UK Fuels for me, and I encourage anyone to talk to them, is, is their investment in that long-term vision. Talk to them about where you want to take your business, what's important to you, uh, and certainly in my experience, they will respond and come back to you with ideas, and I think that's their, their real strength.